Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to do univariate analysis for categorical and quantitative variable using R Commander. So here is uh, the two questions. Uh, first one is actually making a histogram and a box plot for the height variable and then uh, that's a quantitative variable so you will use histogram and box plot for it. For gender variable usually we make a frequency distribution table uh, for univariate analysis and we make bar graph for gender variable. So I'm going to use that R data for it. Right, so first of all I'm going to run the R program and load the R commander. So I'm going to double click on R and click packages and then load package and find the R commander which is RCMDR and click OK. So the R commander is on. So I'm going to click data, low data. So I have an R data set I created and it's called practice one. All right, so I'm going to look for that R data. Actually, yeah, practice one R data. I'm going to open it. I create that R data. Now I can use it. All right, so I click view data set button to see what that R data look like. I have four variable gender, heights, and arm span, and allergies. All right. Gender and allergies are categorical variable, and heights and arm spans, these are quantitative variable. So I'm going to deal with the quantitative variable, making box one histogram for height variable first. So to do the histogram, I'm going to click graph, go down to histogram, and uh, so in the histogram dialog box, you see variable listed there. Uh, our only our commander will only list those variables that are quantitative, right? When you ha look, when you uh, use a histogram uh, option, if you have categorical variable, it is not the kind of variable will not be listed here, right? So I'm going to plot the height variable. So I select that, and I'm going to click Option, and then label this chart. Right? The x-axis will be actually the height. Okay, and actually it's height in centimeter if you want to label that and y-axis typically is the frequency okay so you can do that you can display frequency counts or relative frequency or call, or call it percentage if you want to right or the density right so I'm gonna click back to the data and height is selected so that's good I'm ready so I'm click OK I got the histogram plot right so this is actually X axis uh, you, you put in this label there and also the frequency which is what you just put in in the y axis right so you have proper labels for the for this chart and if you have this ready you can actually copy and paste that in the word document if you're making a report okay so i'm going to shrink it first uh, because i want to preserve the font size right? so uh, i want to shrink this chart a little bit to a size that i like uh, in, the, in my word document I'm going to click File, select Copy to the Clipboard, and then select As a Bitmap. All right, that's one format of a data file that I use right, So uh, for s storing this data. So I'm going to go to the my uh, assignment document, which is a Word document, and come here. I'm going to just right-click and uh, paste that document. All right, so that document is there. I have the uh, graph inserted into the document. Okay, so that's my histogram. Of course, I prefer to actually have it labeled as figure. So this is figure one, and I call this histogram for high variable. Okay, so that's uh, you got one chart down. That's a histogram. How do you make a box plot? That's easy to similar to histogram, right? I'm going to go to R Commander, click graphs, go down to box plot, right? I select height variable, and the option again is for labeling. And uh, by default, R Commander making box plot in the vertical direction, so the whisker go at the vertical right direction. So I will label the y-axis and call that high. That was the height variable that I like to plot. Box plot for it. So I got that label and go back to data, make sure height is selected, and click OK. Then if you go to the graph device, you see that box plot is made. Right? And uh, you can click File, 
copy to clipboard and select bitmap so put in a clipboard and then you can go to your word document and right click and then paste so you have that graph paste it into your document and again you can actually use figure number this would be box plot for high variable if you want to okay so you got these two graph made That's univariate analysis for quantitative variables. So you have quantitative variables, you can make histogram, you can make box plot, right? Uh, to actually help you to understand the pattern, distribution pattern of the data. If you have categorical variable, for instance, gender, okay, what do you do? Usually what we would do is make a frequency distribution table. So how do we do that? Go back to the argumenter. I'm going to use a statistic, click on statistic summary and go to frequency distribution. So for categorical variable, it is important that first time when you look at that data, you want to look at the frequency distribution. So I'm interested in genders. I'm going to look at the gender frequency distribution. I click gender and click OK. Then in the output window of the R commander, you will see the frequency counts. For male, it's 11. For female, it's 19. And the percentage, right? So it's 11 out of 30 that are males. So male is 36.67%, female is 63.33%. So if you look at the R commander, there are kind of three windows in there, right? This first one is R script. So anytime you run the R commander for performing certain tasks, the actual R program, the R code that that create those, right? Being here. So this is R box plot and down to this. This is a set of R code that produced the R the box plot. If you go back up, here is there's a with, all right, and you have a hist. This is histogram function, all right. So this whole thing over here actually is, is the the R code that generated that histogram for you. So if you want to reproduce that, right, you can actually highlight this R code and click submit, right. The uh, the, the the histogram will, will be reproduced again. Sometimes you can actually adjust this label. So the the, the thing that you're typing for X. Uh, Axis labeling axis axis in the extra R code is over here. You re replace this uh, phrase here within the quotes, right? That uh, to something else, and the X label will be labeled by that something else. And this is for Y label for Y axis. So we type in frequency there in the setup, all right? If you change this by s to something else, and then you highlight this whole thing and run submit again, then these X label and Y label will be changed. And anyway, so uh, I have this frequency produced. Now I can make a frequency distribution table here if you want to. Usually what I do is I make my own table using those information. So to make a table, what I do is click insert and table. Okay. And I'm going to select a uh, three by two table so that I can put in those frequency information in the table. So I do that. And then uh, in this table, the first column, I'm going to call it class or category. So I have male and female, these two categories, right? So female, so that's a category. And you also have the frequency information that you want to report. So frequency, remember, if you go back to the data, it was uh, 19 for male and, I mean, 11 for male and 19 for female. So that's it. You can actually uh, move your pointer to this middle line and then click and drag to make the column smaller, the width of the column smaller, so you make a smaller table. You can adjust to whatever you, you want, right? You can also uh, change the alignment to make them uh, maybe center, whatever you want to do, okay? And important thing is usually when I produce a table, I would label the table. So the first table would be table one, this frequency distribution for gender so that's great uh, one more. okay so that's cool so I have my table ready okay. um, and then the other thing that we usually would do for univariate analysis for categorical variable is making a bar graph so I'm going to make a bar graph for gender how do we do that go back to the R commander click graphs and then bar graph 
going to check on gender, this is one I want to plot. And in option, remember that's for labeling. For x-axis, of course, uh, that's actually the gender. Okay, and y-axis, the frequency, similar to the histogram right here is labeling for bar graph, right? Go back and take that data and make sure that the gender is selected, right? So we want to plot for that. Click OK. Go to the R graph, the graph device. Now you see that bar graph is generated, right? Label is proper. So I'm going to click File, clip, uh, copy the clipboard, select Bitmap, and I'm going to come back to my Word document. And the area that I want to do the paste, I'm going to just do the right click and copy and paste, right? So I have my graph paste in, and you can label it if you want to. I'm going to call it Figure. Three, and this is bar chart for gender variable. Okay, so that's how you do the univariate analysis for a uh, qualitative, qualitative or categorical variable. You make frequency table, or you actually make a bar graph. Right? For quantitative, you usually make a histogram or makes a box plot. You can also make frequency distribution table if you want to, but it will be uh, slightly different. Usually, you will have to define these classes and recode your data, right? So then you, you organize these frequency, and then you be able to make table for it, right? So that that's not as straightforward as categorical variable. Okay, that's it.